When I'm going down, there's something magical. The sea is there as a partner to help me feeling myself. When there's nothing more than silence, you, you can get in touch with yourself. It's pure consciousness. I breathe freediving. It's not that I practice freediving, I breathe freediving. Patrick Muzimu from Belgium lives in another realm as one of the best freedivers in the world, able to hold his breath for over eight minutes. Born in Kinshasa, Africa, he didn't discover his element till much later. I discovered the sea when I was uh, 27. And it was the first time that uh, I understood that the sea was salty. I jumped into the water, it was in the Caribbean, jumped into the water, got out with uh, yelling, spitting water out of my mouth and telling my friend, my girlfriend, well, this water is disgusting. And she said, why? Well, I said, well, it's salty. This is when I realized that, in fact, the Blue Caribbean Sea should be salty. It is salty. So it's, it's a bit, uh, I wasn't meant. Until that moment, I said, uh, I thought I wasn't meant to be uh, what I became now, a deep freediver. But step by step, I realized that that was my path, was my destiny. And in 2005, this path brought him to a depth of 209 meters on a single breath. He remembers where it all started. Well, the first dive was uh, on a dark quarry here in Belgium. It was on seven, it was a seven meter dive. It was pitch dark and there was a plane in this lake. And it, it was magical. The, the state of mind was totally different. It was, I was there underwater, not knowing much about free diving. And it was like, wow. Being there, knowing that you're under the surface, you're seven meters away from the surface, holding your breath, it's magical. You know, the capacity, the ability to do it. And this was the, really what struck me at, at once when I was doing free diving. It was like, wow, you're doing something which, which is in unusual somewhere. I believe that you, you're not a free diver because you can go deep or you can hold your breath for long. I believe you, are, you become a free diver when you're able to, to go down and forget that you're holding your breath. I do uh, enjoy going down on 10 meters and lay down on the bottom and just stay there and feel. So this is perfect for me. I don't need more. Patrick broke several records in front of the jury of the International Free Diving Federation. They have strict rules and the records only count when you follow these rules. Patrick got frustrated by these restrictions and dealt with the consequences. For him, freediving was no longer a sport. It became a state of mind. So I decided in 2002 to step out of the Federation. I've done world records with uh, Federation called AIDA, with IEFD. So I, I, know, I know the ins and, in and outs from this Federation. And it's just at a certain point of my, my life and my career, it was time for me to, to reset myself and to come back to the emotion. I was competing. Of course you're competing when you're breaking records. I was not trying to, to, to live something. I was just trying to be something. And this was a crucial point in my life. And as I said, there's only way, one way for you to continue that and to, and to touch what you want to touch is to get yourself free, get your freedom. From this point on, he followed his own path. He created his own techniques in order to reach further depths, a technique away from normal pressure equalization. The technique that I use to, to go really deep down is uh, what I've called the air cavity flooding. I don't have to control air, I don't have to control the pain on my eardrums like any divers. Instead of using air to equalize the pressure on my eardrums and on my sinus, I just use the, the water. And this water, I've, there's plenty of it around me when I go down, so I don't wear a mask and at a certain point of the dive, uh, I remove the, my fingers from my nose and I let the water flood through my nostril, which will go into my sinus and finally to my ears. So I'm completely in equipression with the, the outside and I don't have to equalize. I'm like any sea mammals there, kind of 
bond that you make with the, the sea when you're going down. Except no limits is his motto, and he is sure 209 meters is not the end of his journey. I don't see any limits for the moment because I see so many parts of the training or for the dive that you can improve to get wherever you, your brain can tell you to go. There are several things that someone who wants to start free diving would need to know is that first of all, get proper knowledge and information about the, the sport. There are safety rules to, uh, to follow and the, there are a lot of association, there are a lot of also clubs who can tell you about the safety rules. You need to learn to accept what the rhythm that will be imposed by the sea to you because uh, this is the thing. Some will progress fast, some will progress slowly. And it's all about accepting. The more patient you are with yourself, the more you will progress.